Hey, it's time for me to give you an update on what we're doing at Resilient Warrior. Okay, I'm GW, I'm the CEO. And along with Phil Lim and some other uh, people from behind the scenes, we're doing some great work here in the Wichita area. But we couldn't have done it without the generous donations of the people in the Wichita area and across the country. So we really want to say thank you to Wichita and everyone that has helped us along the way. So awesome. We have eight veterans in the facility currently, and six of them have jobs already. And they were able to look for those jobs because what happened? We took that monkey off their back where they didn't have a place to live. So now they're living in a nice, clean, and safe environment. They're, they're working. They're providing for their own subsistence doing exactly what we wanted to do here at Resilient Warrior, which is get them off the streets, get them to work back in society and, and, and have a good time, right? So partnerships. We've got the Dole Center, right? The Dole VA Center down here. We're working closely with the social workers to help veterans that may or may not be able to be authorized to be helped by the VA. No, it's a big gap we're filling in our veteran community. Getting them off the street, getting them into housing. A Harper, uh, County transportation system. We have that taken care of now. So now the veterans can get um, no to low, no cost travel to the appointments they need so they can get the health care they need and also make them um, a little more uh, mobile to get the job search handled. Uh, the city of Harper, Kansas is, is really working with us hard to get uh, people into jobs there. Uh, there's a great uh, labor need in Harper and the surrounding areas that people are not filling. So now we're able to get, you know, qualified people that want to work in, in, in their house down there makes it super convenient. So you'll see our veterans in restaurants and you'll see our veterans laying uh, fiber optic cables across Kansas and across the country. And you'll see our veterans soon climbing towers and service uh, wind turbines, teaching in our schools. Super exciting. I can't, I, you know, I don't know if you could tell I'm a little excited about it. So uh, the last thing I want to talk about is our corporate sponsors. In order to do this stuff, in order to, to go to the next level, I need some corporate sponsors. I've got some lodges down there that I wanna put some corporate names on the side uh, so that we can uh, recognize the generosity of that, those corporations, one. And two, in order to give an identity to those lodges and able to do some maintenance around there to really bring them up to the level we think is appropriate for our veterans as they're housed there for in the temporary status. So we really want to say thank you to the Wichita area. We really want to say thank you to the people who have reached out and, and donated money and uh, weapons parts and all the things that are going on in the back, behind the scenes. We got Holly down there at Harper. She's taking care of the veterans and making sure they're doing um, they're doing well and, and getting to their appointments and, and providing the, any subsistence they need eventually. We'd like to say thank you to Holly. Go to the website. There's a button on there. It's resilient warrior Dot org. Go to the website, click the button, give $10, give $20, give $25,000, you know who you are. So I really want to take this, sec this last part to say thank you to everyone who's helped us from, my, from the bottom of my heart, okay? Um, we couldn't have done any of this without you. So I know that there's the, the generosity is there. We know that. So let's do, let's do more. Let's be generous. Let's do everything we can to help these veterans get off the street, into housing, back into society, and complete their mission. Thank you guys so much.